Welcome to part 49 of our B44.2 build and we're getting ready to tackle the base coat and I'm going to go ahead and drop in some metallic silver on here and whoops uh, also uh, when you're airbrushing uh, be careful not to drop your airbrush on the concrete floor um, or any you know any kind of flooring because uh, uh, you, you would damage the needle you would damage parts of the airbrush um, you know like if you're gonna go ahead and get an airbrush you're in, you're making that investment so you definitely need to take care of your tool so essentially what I'm using is the fast color uh, water soluble paint I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop it in here and this should be good and I'm just gonna go ahead and just check the spray pattern just checking it on my water bottle here and just giving it a good little spray to make sure that it is spring. Um, apologize for that being out of frame. Um, it's kind of hard to record video and, and uh, airbrush at the same time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do a better job of this for you guys here. Uh, let me go ahead and just move this down. There we go. So we're just going ahead and just spray a nice and even base coat of of uh, kind of like the silvery metallic color not exactly like reflective but uh, it's more like this kind of dullish matte uh, silver um, the paint is actually a little thick so I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it again here um, also the weather outside is uh, once again it's 60 degrees and outside it's actually raining so um, not the most ideal conditions to paint in uh, I kind of feel a little bit too cold a little bit too wet but for you dear subscriber and viewer I'm gonna soldier on and show you how to airbrush this so essentially you go ahead and just lay in a few coats I'm gonna put in about three to four coats um, you could go to five to six however um, it's gonna take a little longer to dry as as you lay in more coats um, also um, I'm not going to try to put too many coats on here because I did lay in some vinyl graphics and and I'm going to need to peel off the the uh, vinyl graphics with the water soluble paint so that uh, hopefully those two things don't stick together. Uh, with my luck, those things may stick together, but let's uh, let's just hope that it it doesn't happen. So essentially, you go back and you go back and you and you give it a nice nice little translucent spray and until you're happy with the base coat then once you're happy with the base coat it's time to let the Lexan shell dry and then decide what other color and which other area you're gonna, you're gonna try to paint um, my needles actually kinda clog so I'm going ahead and just give it another spray here and what you're seeing here is actually a I want a base cleaning station and I really like the cleaning station because they, you could actually dump all the liquids out into this base station and you could collect it and this base station actually has a nice little charcoal filter on there so it, it doesn't stink up the entire room uh, if you're particularly if you're using solvents like like the airbrush cleaner and I like to use solvents on my airbrush so that I could actually uh, keep my airbrush clog free which means that um, clog free just essentially means that you clean your airbrush out every time you use it so that it doesn't you know paint doesn't dry up inside it and this 90 percent is most of the airbrush problems is that having dried paint on the on your airbrush so in this case I'm just going to give my Iwata HPCH a nice cleaning down and this way it would ensure me uh, years of usage with this so thanks for watching remember everything matters and we're gonna let this base coat dry and we'll come back and do some more highlight colors thanks for watching